as a Christian, because we are, do you think the Bible has the answer to each and every question in life? What do you think? Amy, what do you think? Yeah, you know, my heart's kind of pitter-pattering because I, I just love what we're talking about today in the whole show. I get excited. So I'm thinking about, does the Bible have the answer to each and every? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. There is nothing new under the sun. Everything was created by him and for him. You know, so today concerning presidents, elections, family, everything that we could ever have a question about is in the scriptures. I'm talking about elections. I'm talking about laws. I'm talking about judges. I'm talking about economy, borders, Israel, immigration. Any question we could ever have can be found in the scripture. So that is why we cannot be ignorant as believers. We cannot be illiterate. Biblically, we have to dive in and dig in for ourselves, not go by little clips, what our family members said, but we dive in to hard questions that concern our everyday life in the Bible. That's right. Anybody? I do not agree. Um, I think... <laughs> I agree with all the stuff you said about we should seek the Bible to answer right, yeah. those questions, but the Bible does not promise that it answers every question. God is the answer to every question mm -hmm. and his word is the Bible, but there are just things we are not going to know on this side of heaven. Mm -hmm. And we have, that's where faith comes mm -hmm. into play, where you just have to trust, you know, he's given us this guidebook. He's told us like many answers. We can find many answers in the Bible, but there are things that we just aren't going to know. And he didn't put it in his word for whatever reason he chose because he is all knowing, but he chose not to put that information in because we are finite humans and our brains can't even comprehend some of this stuff. The verse I, I pulled out was from 1 Corinthians 13, for we know in part, we prophesy in part, but when the cur perfect comes, the partial will pass away. And then skipping to the end, for now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully as I have been known fully. Wow. So, it, you know, we, we just aren't going to have all that knowledge now. So I'm going to dovetail off of that because I, I definitely agree with you. And, and I'm just throwing some other perspectives out there. Number one, when you take a look at how the Bible was canonized, um, there are books that are not included in our Bible that were mm -hmm. taken out, but are yeah. still mentioned in the Bible, such as the book of Jasher. And I could name some others, but I want to be sensitive Jasser? to time. Mm -hmm. um, just so quick. when <laughs> you when you take the time, the, the whole thing about the word of God is to develop you and to develop your spirit and to develop your relationship with God. Colossians 4 and 6 says this, let your speech always be with grace, seasoned with salt, that you may know how to answer each one. And as you said, the scripture may not plainly say, this is what you need to do today, Flo. But there would be some biblical guidelines in there. So let's take a look at Solomon, for example. There is no scripture that said, cut the woman's child, threaten to cut the woman's child in half. Mm -hmm. He right. tapped into God through wisdom, wisdom. through his relationship yes. with God, through the using mm -hmm. of the word of God. This is why as much as I love the study of the word and, and I'm going to advocate for it, you have to have the right spirit about it. If I decide to study the word to be in competition, then what I am doing is I am getting the letter of the word and not the spirit mm -hmm. of it. Solomon shows an example here of operating in the spirit mm -hmm. of the word, which is wisdom, knowledge, understanding, love and compassion. What do you have, Rox? Well, I just thought of something when she was speaking. Jesus said, I only speak what I hear the Father saying. Okay. That's good. I only do what I see the Father doing. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what Amy is saying here and what I see is God never fails in his guidance That's through good. his word. That's good. Your word, Psalm 119, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my, to my pathway. So let me give an example. I'm worried, I'm worried about a certain decision in the future. Come on. And you know me. I'm, plan I'm planning like weeks <laughs> ahead and ever. And I'm studying the word. If you seek him, the Bible says you will find, find him. him. Amen. So this word came to me 
and gave me peace. Isaiah 52, 12. For you shall not go out in haste and you shall not go out in flight. For the Lord will go before you and the God of Israel shall be your rear guard. So God was saying, don't move till I go forward and I'm behind you. Don't be hasty, Roxanne. And God was speaking that word. Now he's talking to Israel there. But God can reach through his word right. and talk to you because right. his word is above his name. Nothing is higher right. than his word. Now Flo said there's some issues where mm -hmm. they're in or they're out and the Nicene and so mm -hmm. on got together to decide what was. But the words of Jesus, the words from God's own mouth, mm -hmm. wherever they right. are in red letter in the New Testament right. or the Old Testament in That's quotes, good. That's good. you That's good. can hang your hat on those. Right. And but from a faith cometh by hearing right. and hearing by the word, word of God. God. Yes. And the only way, like you'll get an example, a type and a shadow, an illustration. You'll see your story in another story in the Bible. God will bring a Proverbs of wisdom that you need for this job. It's applicable to every area of our lives. Right, but you know, from a practical standpoint to our people who are watching, um, my grandson got hurt on the football field and he's out for the season. Why? I'm not happy. I'm not happy, God. Okay, so here's the question. Does the Bible have the answer to each and every question? God has just said to me, have peace. I know what I'm doing with mm -hmm. your grandson. So that's from a practical standpoint. But right? as, as she was saying, you know, um, well, both of you, you know, and, and I, don't, I don't think it's a matter of, I, I love what Corey always says, not, let's not get into semantics, you know. Right. But, you know, um, the thing, but the thing of it is, seriously, we, we, we have been in this thing so long, most of us sitting around this table, we have perfected our Christianese. And the thing of it is, even with reading the word, even with all of that, I need discernment. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. And that's why I use Solomon yes. as an example. Yeah. Right. Yes. You know, you can be a man or woman of the word and the yeah. scripture can yeah. quote, you can say a certain thing, but is that the word for me right now right. in what I'm doing? Well, well it's I the law that leads to death and the spirit that there leads to life. There you go, but I, I have a question for you. <laughs> okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to move on from that.